That's not setting up a healthy relationship. We don't have to like just always post and post and post. That's not where my worth is. That's not where my confidence comes from. Hi guys, welcome back to another lessons video. If you're new here, my name is Naima. Welcome again. Um, also, I have no makeup on, so I'm feeling extra vulnerable. And like I, like, I haven't done anything to my hair because my whole family was sleeping and we're all in like the same hotel room. And I already like made a lot of noise, so I just couldn't do anything. But here we are, we're gonna do it, and God's gonna use it, so. Um, the first thing is retreat and slow down when you find yourself mindlessly going through the motions. I think I wrote this down, I'm trying to remember. I think that I wrote this down with the, like, concept of Bible time, because, or like, just any activities relating to God, like, it could be prayer or anything, like, not just doing it to do it. And when I, like, find that I'm just, like, trying to check off a box, I just slow down and try to, like, okay, Naima, what are you doing? Why are you doing it? Like, just because I think it's easy for your love for the Lord to get cold when you don't actively pursue it and when you let other idols get in the way or other things, like, please your heart. And so it's like, oh, I don't really, like, whatever. I'm just going to God to read the Bible so that I check it off, whatever. Um... Yeah, and I think that's going to always be, like, a lesson or something I need to work on or do um, and, like, constantly remind myself of. The next thing, um, for those perfectionists out there, hi, don't try to be perfect before the Lord. He knows your thoughts, he wants to solve your problems, and he doesn't want to, like, watch us do it in our own strength. And I just picture, like, when you have a burden you're carrying that burden and you're trying to like fix it and do all this and wrap it and do all this and then god's just like looking down being like what is she doing could she just give that to me already like like i'm right here like she's not meant to carry that it's actually really heavy for her like i could help her and actually teach her through this um and that's what i picture and a lot of pressure and like for me especially i think i've said this before maybe in even one of the lessons videos but like when I have like a burden or something that's giving me some anxiety, I oftentimes like picture it like in my hands and I'm turning away and like God's over there and I'm over here and I'm like, no, 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 God, let me just, let me just fix it and then I'll give it to you and then I'll talk to you about it and then, and then I'll do this and then I'll bring it to you once it's perfect. But it's like, actually God already knows, actually God wants to be in it with you and actually that's the whole point. Um, and that's like one of the blessings is that like we can invite him into our problems into our life because like he actually already knows everything so it's like you might as well <laughs> water break it's like too cold to enjoy right now i don't know that's okay all right next god will find someone to fulfill his plan even if you run from your calling or you don't have faith for it basically this is like another thing kind of like what i just said about pressure perfectionism and like sometimes you feel like oh my goodness like god just gave me this huge task to do i can't do it i just can't like it's all on my shoulders if i fail like god fails if i fail then the mission is over if i feel like you, you start to go into all of these scenarios that's really like that's really i think out of a place of pride or at least for me i think it is being like oh well if i fail and what god has given me then it's never gonna happen like no god finds someone else <laughs> okay god finds someone else um and i just think that that's refreshing like and that's happened honestly like in in different things like that are going on with me where i'll be like god i like i really don't want to do that like you might be giving that to me but i don't want to do that and so i have a moment of like not trusting the lord or like not being obedient to something and then literally like a month later or however long later like i'll find that another christian person is on it like and i'm like oh okay <laughs> like i can i can actually it's not all on my shoulders i don't have to go crazy next in terms of real progress and when god is working there might not be huge progress inclines and like each day like that's not realistic and i think that a lot of the times like we measure ourselves based on um how much we're progressing each day and so like for me it could be like how much did i get done today 
oh, if I didn't get a lot done, I'm not making a lot of progress. And there's ways that we can like reflect on our day and track our days and then determine if it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down day, I guess. Like in terms of progress, in terms of moving forward, in terms of lessons, even because like in July, I didn't find myself writing down a lot of lessons and that doesn't have anything to do with the progress I'm making or the progress that God is doing in my heart or the work he's doing. It's just it's just seasons and not every season is going to be boom 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 lesson 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 look at everything I'm revealing to you like there's seasons and there's building up and there's work and there's prayer behind it all um and so I think it's easy to get discouraged and that's something that's a tactic that the enemy will use honestly like discouragement and like oh did you even make any progress like like especially oh my gosh when i was reading um jeremiah i was literally reading jeremiah is like i think 50 or 60 chapters it's pretty long but when i was reading jeremiah <clears throat> and i was in it for like maybe like five months i was actually like am i even making progress like i got discouraged i think i even took a break from reading jeremiah because i was like i just i'm not going anywhere and it just felt like i was going nowhere and it's just like there's so much power in getting to the end of a book um, and I think we could use that also metaphorically because there's so much power to like holding on and being diligent even when you don't see results in progress immediately. And you could even argue that that's when you see the most progress when, when it's slow and when it's gradual. Um, I read summer, I read, um, well, I read Atomic Habits for summer reading and it was kind of that same principle that like 1% incline, 1% incline, like just get 1% better every day. That's all. That's all I need to worry about. Just don't get 1% worse. That's it. <laughs> okay. Okay, this this one's good. You don't need to post it on social media. Try to find a balance between showing off and sharing a memory. I think, like, especially having this channel, there's, like, a weird gray area for me that's, like, that this, my Instagram account is the only one that I have. Like, I don't have a personal at, at YouTube because, like, it's just like too much to to keep track of for me um so like when if people are following me even personally they're following my youtube and i started it as a separate account um and so there's like but there's still like this weird thing that's like i'm going to post a lot on here i'm going to spam like this is my youtube this is what i'm trying to build i'm trying to build a brand here and so i'm going to post a lot and I don't want to come off as annoying. And it's like a weird thing that I don't think people are really going to be able to relate to. But the point is, it's like hard because I get into a rhythm of posting. And then... <laughs> sorry, my... Okay, sorry, someone just texted me. Um, you're, like, you're literally posting everything like why are you posting everything i guess that's the mo more important question like why are you posting everything because if i have a, an instagram and i'm trying to build a brand and i have a youtube channel and like it's all meant to be pointing back to god and like giving a testimony and i'm posting everything does that create a positive profile or am i showing off like like there's like this line and this balance that's like where where is this coming from because like for me i get in the groove of something and i'm in the groove like that's it like i'll post every day like now i'm in the habit of like i want to post every day and i'm holding back because i want to make sure like i'm doing it out of a good place um and i think this is like a broader thing for social media because um, it's really easy to post your best moments and I think we're all aware that like Instagram is basically a hi highlight reel and I don't want to be like posting like ugly pictures of myself honestly like some people do that and that's good for you that's good for them but like Instagram is going to be my happy moments I'm sorry like we have to know that for me and so it's about like how much are you posting are you just bragging at this point and, like I don't know but I've, I've definitely wrestled with Instagram a lot um, and like what I share and trying to make it realistic but not like like this is my happy moments do you know it's like a bigger conversation but I've definitely like considered deleting um, social media and like maybe two weeks before school starts delete it and just like rest and not worry about like 
posting everything because it, it it's getting to the point or like it's gotten to the point where like when I see something cute I'm not like enjoying the moment I'm like I need to post that and I need to share that like like do I no I don't I can enjoy this moment for myself and um we don't have to like just always post and post and post and post so it's like hard too when you're on vacation um because you're like, oh, this is nice, this is nice, this is nice. But it's not your life. But, like, I'm on vacation, guys. Anyways, that's kind of a random personal one. So, okay, next, this is about relationships. In a relationship, even if you're free, you need to let the other person enjoy time alone and be by themselves. It's not selfish for them to want to be alone. Um, yeah. Let me just tell you. Let me just let you in on this, okay? I... <laughs> This is so cute. I feel like I'm talking to a friend right now. Um, I haven't seen my boyfriend. This car is, could not be louder, actually. This BMW could not be louder. I have not seen my boyfriend in, like, guys, like, it could be, like, 87 days. No. It's, like, it's been, like, a month. Maybe a little bit more than a month. And, like, for us, that's really a lot because, um, whatever. It's a lot because we used to see each other every, literally every single day also we're in different time zones he gets up at six and starts working but he was in alaska so then the time difference is different and now i'm in california time different like you know what i'm saying and so it's been like really difficult um long distance is hard and like obviously but <laughs> um oh my gosh so yeah i found myself getting into like a little selfish moment where i'm like are you joking you have free time and you're gonna like go to the gym or like take care of yourself you need to talk to me the whole time and like that's not it that's not that's not setting up a healthy relationship each person like like whatever but i just i'm like you get what i'm saying like um and I guess this could go for a friendship too, maybe. I don't know. Like, just because the other person is free and you're free at the same time doesn't mean you have to fill that time together and you can't work on yourselves or you can't rest individually or even just spend time with the Lord or extra time with the Lord. Um, and so that's been actually really hard, the long distance. But I'm seeing him in six days and then that's just for a day. And then we're going to, it's going to be like a week weeks and then i'll be back home so i'm excited oh yeah guys this is another thing <laughs> now i'm just like talking to you this is okay i'm just talking to you if you didn't know i'm going to be a senior this year and i am actually really stressed about college stuff there's uh, this whole thing and there's like christian college not christian college like it's like it's not just where you're going to college there's like a lot of pressure i okay probably mo the majority of families is like that where it's like this like oh i'm going to college the real stress about college probably comes more from your family and from the pressure than from actually like the milestone or like the step of like oh bye going to college like i'm fine like take me to college this year take me to college tomorrow like it's not for me that's not the stressful part for me at least right now the stressful part is the decision like everyone's not going to be happy with the decision am i going to be happy like all this stuff like and like being in a relationship it's like oh where is he going to go where am i going to go what, 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 what it's crazy so i just been really praying for peace and praying for direction and that god would lead me i've been asking like a lot of people to pray for me about this college decision i want to be an extra worship and extra prayer in this season um i'm applying to like 13 colleges but um we'll see i don't know what's going to happen um i definitely have my preference and I don't, i'm not gonna share that right now but um it's just really stressful and like i okay let me show you this acne right here like i really believe that that's stress like that is just stress and because this is not always active like i have some scarring here but like it shows up like if i get acne i usually get it here and that is like hormonal and stress and it's like like you can tell guys i don't know like it's crazy it's a crazy 
not to mention me touching it and like whatever but and then i stress out about like getting acne and like that's been the whole thing but um that's actually another thing like my worth is not based on my appearance like i've been getting really insecure about my acne recently just because like the acne i have i'm pretty it's just like hormonal and stress so it's not like like i'm i've been to the dermatologist i've taken antibacterials i've done all of the topical creams like there's all these things and it just like literally comes down to stress and hormones um and probably eating and sleep and stuff but yeah i just like yesterday even guys i was really like i didn't even want to leave the hotel room because i was gonna be going out without makeup because i was going to the beach and so i like didn't even want to leave because i was so insecure and that's so sad like like that's not where my worth is that's not where my confidence comes from that is just not it that's not we can go out and be confident because of who the lord made us to be acne is normal acne is a part of me and so that's just how it is okay so yeah i mean it doesn't help when your younger brother is like Naima, why do you have so many pimples like like i, I don't know this next one this is so good we only have two more this one is so good pick a lane and stay in that lane or let god pick your lane and just stay in that lane i was listening to this podcast um it was really 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 good it was a longer one it had like different topics but it was so good and a lot she was talking about her lane in ministry it's hard to communicate what i'm trying to say think right now what i'm thinking right now but basically like each of us in christ and like in the body of christ have a lane we have a ministry we have like a wit like we are built so specially and so specifically and and that is for our lane do you get what i'm saying like and i'm using lane as an analogy for your calling for your purpose for your ministry and so her lane was like teaching people that it's like so important to have christ like fun like we're important to have we're we supposed we're supposed to have fun like someone else's ministry could be like preaching on the streets doing evangelism like just like that like go up to someone share the gospel pray for them okay another person's ministry could be like making youtube videos and kind of doing that like method or whatever another person's ministry could be going on doing podcasts like another person could have the gift of giving and so they host a lot of things bringing a lot of people to their home and and sharing hospitality and that's the way they they um get to know christ um and so there's different lanes and i think that that's so reassuring because i think that i a lot of the times want to be like i want to do it all i want to do it all like this is all me like i'm doing it all whatever and that's just not it like you have a lane stay in the lane do your lane and like that's so true like especially like talking to someone who's not a believer and i and like they have a certain testimony like i don't have that testimony but guess what i know someone who does and so i'll be like oh you know my friend she went through the exact same thing let me connect you guys you guys can talk like knowing kind of like oh this is not my expertise this is not my lane but i know someone who is in this lane and does it great so let me just like you don't have to fill a lane like you're in a lane and obviously like there can be times where like maybe you don't have the gift of um wisdom but you're in a place to give um advice to your friend and they like you know there's like god god can do anything gotta pray but the lanes the lanes pick a lane stay in a lane um and i think when when we say when we talk about picking a lane there can be a lot of pressure in that too but it's like no what what's your lane naturally and that can take time to figure out and discover and like god is going to lead you to that um but like i know for me for example like my lane is not necessarily like going on the street and sharing the gospel with someone and like praying for them giving them a hug okay bye like like naturally and maybe that's just because i haven't been exposed to a ton of that but naturally that's not my lane my lane is like to really know someone become friends with them share the gospel and like let like like that's my lane the friend lane okay my lane is the youtube lane um and and my lane is like it's do you get what i'm saying like it, it might not be super clear cut but yeah okay last thing really good god will always celebrate you your worth is not in how much you do and 
that's like been something like every time like like legitimately like every time i finish an assignment i finish a video i finish um my work for the day or i go to a cafe i do my work i like have to tell myself before i leave i mean your worth is not in what you just did your worth is not in what you just did this is not where your worth comes from your worth is not in like i sit down and i tell myself your worth is not in how much you get done by by the time you leave this table your worth is not that's not where your worth lies because um the problem with that if if you've like experienced like burnout or or anything like that where it's like you just have to do to do to kind of feel that gratification it's it's just a terrible cycle that like it feeds into itself i think really and it's not good because that neglects rest and time with god because like it, it can be to the point where like i want to do all of my to-do list where like i don't read my bible it's like oh no no god i like i actually have a big to-do list today so i'll get back to you maybe tomorrow no that's just not it and yeah i think it's important it's something i've been telling myself it's something that i've been needing to remind myself of and pray about your worth is not in what you do like god loves you now today tomorrow like he like boom that's it okay that was our lessons for the month um oh also i need to tell you i need to tell you if you're still here you're in it you're in it hello i need to tell you this year i signed up to take three ap classes um i'm going to lead a club i'm on leadership for another club uh obviously i have a boyfriend that takes up time and i have family um i also have church to serve in i have rest to do um also i'm applying to colleges so I have so many videos that I want to do and so many videos that I feel like God has just been like, go, 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 Naima, do it. You got it. Do it. Let's go. And I can't do them all, obviously, but I just want to give you a heads up. Like, the uploads will probably slow down. Not that they've been fast in the summer, but yeah, just a heads up. The year might be, like, a little... I'm going to see what I can do. Maybe I'll be fine, but, like... Just a heads up, this year I have a ton of commitments and I do really want to prioritize YouTube, but like I need to apply to college <laughs> and uh, these other things too. So we'll see what happens, but I will hopefully be seeing you in a September lessons video or maybe a 17 things I learned at 17 because my birthday is in September, uh, September 30th. Mark your calendars, okay? All right, I'm going to go um, comment something God's teaching you right now. Hope you have an amazing day. Jesus loves you so much. Okay, bye.